So I can afford this, but I can't afford afford this. I'm a huge Pokemon fan and I grew up watching the anime and collecting cards semi-seriously until I think Pokemon Emerald where I gave all my cards to my cousin. Anyway, now that I'm an adult with a little bit of disposable income and I've been watching Deep Pocket Monsters videos lately, I figured hey, what if I made a video collecting a set of cards or what if I found a way to have some cards for my kind of like new YouTube studio background. Recently, I went and bought all six of these different designed Pokeballs from my local shop and each one of them gave me a pack of I believe three cards which I have right here and don't get me wrong these cards are nice but out of like the hundred cards I had there was none that I thought wow this is like a, a, a top six card that I would love to have or love to own like there's Charizard, there's Arceus, there's Cynthia but none of these are great so I figured let me go see if I can use my disposable income to complete one full set of cards. Okay, so I can probably get base set for about £410. And I remember base set really well. I like Alakazam, I like Blastoise. I genuinely liked all the shinies. And some of the other cards were like hit and miss because of the era they're in. And I mean, like, as I said, I could technically afford it, but I could probably spend £410 better. Like, I don't want this Caterpie, I don't want this coughing. Yes, I want a set, but I don't want all these things, you know? So let me go to a newer set now, like Scarlet and Violet Original 151. Now this one, I like the designs of some of these monsters and Pokemon a lot better. I don't know why I said monsters. And yeah, I like these a lot and some designs I think are really, really clever. Like come down to the bottom. This is great. This is amazing. This is amazing. This is amazing. This is a, this is a masterpiece and clever as well so I think this set would cost me about £550 again I can technically afford it but I can't afford it you know really like I, I could use the money better so I don't want to spend a lot of money on a set I don't like but is there a solution to this and I think I have one I've gone through all these sets and worked out how many cards are in all the sets and then I've summed them together and divided by the number of sets to work out the average number of cards in a Pokemon set. And that number is 141. So, my goal now is can I find 141 cards that I like in a cheap way to make a super cool set. So, I've picked out loads of cards that I like, but let me show you the final set, which is loading, 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 let's make it bigger. I think the more astute of you can see a theme as we go along. I end up saying, hey, let's take all these cards as one set and see what it comes to as a cost. Okay, so the total cost of all these 144 cards technically is £4,618.50. Now, when I was looking at some of these cards, I got the hollow versions, I got um, brand new cards. I don't really care about that for grading purposes. So what I did was I said, you know what? Let me take 40% of that cost as the true price. And then I worked out it's gonna be 1,847 pound 40p. With that, I could buy 461 packs instead. And I thought to myself, I am not spending £2,000 on Pokemon cards, I'm just not doing that, but I have an idea. So Deep Pocket Monster, I do watch some of your videos and you're telling me the best challenges and the most fun you'll ever find. Well my challenge to you is I want you to collect this set of cards that I will somehow link somewhere. Um, I think it's 141 to 144 cards. As long as you get 141 cards, the challenge is complete and you can, I don't know, you have two weeks or four weekends to do this, I guess, or something along those lines. Good luck, because I sure as hell can't do this. Well, I bought one card of this list, so I think that's a complete win.